Understanding how Google Ads ad groups work and how to utilize them properly in your campaigns is going to give you an advantage over your competition, in part because most people running Google Ads out there do not understand how Google Ads ad groups work or how to use, it, use them effectively. <laughs> but through this training, you'll be able to get a better understanding than most people out there of how to correctly set up your ad groups. And what that's going to do for you is make Google happier with your ads. You know, at the end of the day, Google is going to reward advertisers that give a superior user experience. What I mean by that is Google wants people to come here and click on these ads because then they'll make money. It's pay-per-click ads, right? So each time these ads get clicked, Google makes money. So if the ads are great and the quality is great, then they'll get a lot more clicks. But if the quality is not so great, then they'll get fewer clicks and make less money. Simple, simple math, right? So if your ad is like this one, has all of these site link extensions, um, all this different stuff going on, and people are clicking on it at a high rate, then that's an indicator to Google that you're uh, that people are having a good experience with your ad in general, right? When they do a search, they find what they're looking for in your ad and they click on it. But in order for your ad to be congruent with the search that people do and for them to feel like they're finding what they're looking for, your ad needs to be in alignment with what the thing, <laughs> the, the query that people put into the search bar in the first place, right? And that's kind of where ad groups come in along with keywords and ads and other things. But having ad group structure and congruent Google ads is going to give people a good user experience, which then Google's going to reward you for by giving you uh, more clicks at a lower cost per click, putting you higher up in the search results. So rather than being this third ad down here that's really small and tiny, probably not getting a lot of clicks, you know, you'll be up here at the top taking up a lot of space, getting lots of clicks. And that's, you know, like this is the term we searched here, Phoenix Closets, Phoenix Custom Closets, Closets Phoenix, Inspired Closets Phoenix. I mean, th this is talking all about the exact thing that we just searched for, right? And that's kind of the idea with ad groups is we want to structure the ad groups so that they line up with the different services that are offered. However, most of your competitors and most of the people watching this video probably have a setup more similar to this, where if you have a, a campaign selected from up top here and you go over to campaigns and ad groups, you'll just have like one, maybe two ad groups. The second one here is a dynamic ad group. And so everything is kind of created automatically. But this is there's only one standard traditional type of ad group, it's just Phoenix Closets. And in there, there's a whole bunch of different keywords like closet builders and custom closets, closet installation, et cetera, et cetera. And that's pretty common, right? Most people, they'll set up their Google Ads campaign. They'll take all the keywords they think they want to target. They'll throw them into an ad group, put a couple ads in there, start running it. And, you know, sometimes it can work like this was getting some conversions, but not as effective as it could have been. What we really should have done in this case is taken, or what this company should have done in this case, I should say, is taken the uh, the Google Ads campaign and split them up into, and split it up into ad groups. So have an ad group for closet builders, have an ad group for closet installation, Phoenix closets, custom closets, etc., cetera, et cetera, right? And then in each of those ad groups have keywords that are related to the ad group. So it's kind of like a topic. There are different types of ad groups. You can use topical ad groups, which are common, where you have groups of keywords that are all similar in each ad group. There's also SCAGs, single keyword ad groups, where you just have one keyword per ad group. But the whole idea here is that you're you have a group, an ad group, which contains a keyword or set of keywords, which also then fires the ad or ads that are in the ad group. So the ad group kind of groups together the keywords and the ads. 
And the reason it's doing that is so that you can show an ad that is congruent and related to the term that people search for, right? If everything's all mixed together and you have all of your keywords in one ad group, then somebody might see something about, you know, we build custom closets in Phoenix, but they don't necessarily need a builder. They want it designed or something, right? And so they may not click on the ad and it may not perform very well. So instead, what we want to do is split everything up in at least by categories. So closet builders can then contain three or four keywords about, you know, Phoenix closet builders, closet builders near, near me, just plain old closet builders, et cetera, et cetera. And then the ads in that ad group would talk about how this company offers closet building services in Phoenix, right? We are closet builders in Phoenix. And then the closet installation would talk about how the company offers closet installation, their closet installation pros. Same thing, Phoenix closets, custom closets. We build custom closets in Phoenix. So then when somebody goes to do a search on Google for Phoenix closets, for instance, that's tr that keyword is going to trigger the ad group to present an ad that has a headline with more or less the keyword in the headline. And the reason you want to do that is because if somebody goes to Google and they do a search for Phoenix closets and then the first ad they see is your ad and it says Phoenix closets right in it, then they know that they just found what they're looking for, <laughs> right? Pretty much. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, but that's a big portion of it. And it's a big, big part of where people are messing up with their Google ads is not separating things out and differentiating the ads that are being showed shown to people based on the actual keywords that they are searching for. So we could look at another example of this on a more broad perspective. So campaign two here, we have like remodeling. So that might be remodeling near me, Phoenix remodelers, et cetera, et cetera. And the ad headlines would talk about how we offer home remodeling services. We are experts at all things home remodeling. Contact us today, on and on and on. And then we would have an ad group for kitchen remodeling. That would talk, you know, have keywords relating to kitchen remodeling, like people who are looking for kitchen remodeling companies, kitchen remodeling near me, just kitchen remodeling, etc. And then those ads would talk about kitchen, you know, how we're trusted kitchen remodelers on and on and on and this can go on you can break this up continuously as much as you want really I mean to the point where they there are a lot of people that prefer to set up one ad group with one keyword and then one or two ads in that ad group and so they might have 50 or 100 ad groups in their Google Ads account right so you there's no real limit to how far you can take this. <laughs> well, I guess there is a limit. You can only, you have to have at least one keyword and one ad in each ad group, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but the big thing to keep in mind here is that we're trying to make Google ads happy so that it rewards you by giving you better quality traffic because you're showing up higher in the search results more traffic because you're getting a higher click-through rate and it's costing less per click so you get a, a lower cost per lead or a cost per sale or whatever type of business you're running and that's the name of the game right is reducing how much it costs to acquire a new customer so that and getting more customers so that you can increase profitability and grow your business so I hope you found this helpful if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads ad groups or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there.